Hello everyone, today we are going to take a look at uh, another IP camera. Uh, this thing is a kind of an all-in-one model because uh, beside being an IP camera which works with a mobile phone so you can uh, install an app and uh, watch the camera, uh, this camera can also be connected uh, uh, with a PC. Uh, you actually get free software for it and you uh, have a camera management system and uh, you can buy a lot of uh, these models of uh, cameras and they will all work in the same application which is nice and beside all of that it also has a built-in DVR so you can insert the micro SD card into the camera the camera will be able to record the footage and uh, store it on uh, that local memory card and you can later play back the video and see uh, if there was something wrong and you can watch the details so uh, not a lot of information on the box the box looks this way and you are going to see that it looks this way inside uh, you should not get the camera looking like that uh, there was an issue with it uh, this is all uh, DHL fault uh, this is how they treat my packages they simply like to destroy them and then uh, they give it uh, back to me so I'm gonna skip that part so the camera looks like this it has three large infrared uh, emitters uh, these are very powerful they have a reflector inside uh, this one is the light sensor this triggers the infrared to work or to shut down so micro SD card is here this camera is waterproof so you can install it outside and this has a rubber seal inside so water will not get in uh, the camera does not come with the micro SD card, so you need to buy your own. But it does full HD resolution, so that should be really nice. The power adapter is rather simple. It outputs 12 volts and 1 amp. It comes with its own wireless antenna. Mounting hardware. Uh, this rubber seal thing this is used for sealing up the network cable in case you are running network cable and this will insulate it has this rubber seal and when you screw this on tight it will compress over the cable and make a watertight seal uh, here you also get the power jack and this one is the camera reset button in case you need to reset it you have this button and it's nice that it comes with a cover so let's power this on and see if it works or not to quickly set up the camera you have several aids to help you with that it has a QR code which you can scan with your mobile phone but uh, that will uh, fail if you try to connect the camera on uh, the wireless directly because the camera will not know your wireless password so what you have to do is to actually connect it to your uh, router by using a cable uh, this way the camera will connect to the local network and you have access to, uh, to it with your mobile phone or with the computer using their uh, software either the app for the mobile phone or the app provided for the PC and now the camera is on the network so I can access it from all my devices and I can set up it directly on my mobile phone and I have the option on my mobile phone to set up the wireless of the camera and the camera will then connect to the wireless I can disconnect the cable and then I can wirelessly install the camera where I want to right but I'm not going to show you the app right now now I'm going to show you the PC option which is very nice because uh, there are newer IP cameras that don't have the uh, PC connectivity anymore integrated so you cannot access them they do not provide any kind of software so you are just locked uh, by using their mobile phone app which is not always the best situation because a lot of settings are not in the app so you cannot finally tune the camera uh, you need to access it through a browser on your computer to really uh, set up it properly so right this uh, producer which is EasyN uh, provides you with several tools uh, the first one is this uh, IP search which helps you a lot so when you run this app uh, it scans the network and it gives you the IP of uh, the camera and its uh, port and if I double click on it it will launch a browser and now I can 
log into the camera directly and if I press on sign in here I have Imi from the camera already and you can see the camera works very nice and if I click back I can go to options and here I have actually access to all the camera settings which is motion detection, linkage alarm, uh, video quality, vid image parameters such as contrast, brightness, saturation, exposure. You can set up networking here, you can set up your password ports and so on. Uh, remote access, you can create various users with various rights. Uh, there are a lot of settings here, find settings, which you don't find in the app. The second application for this camera is the uh, multi-windows application and you can see I already have some cameras here and it makes setup very easy. I can add a camera, I can search it on the network and there it is. I'm just going to click OK. I'm going to add the password. I'm going to press OK and now I have the camera right here and it works just fine. Also from the app you have access to most of the camera settings like recording, alarm, wireless settings, time zone and from parameter you have things like uh, pan tilt zoom in case the camera supports this is without pan tilt or zoom. Uh, you have network settings and you can see those are blank because you press this button which says getting and this will get the settings from the camera and if you modify them you press setting and that will transmit your settings, new settings to the camera then the camera will save them and you have a lot of things here including video quality if I press getting and getting you can see I have the options right here so if I press on highest setting here for video quality set successfully and now I have uh, actually full HD live view on my monitor here for this camera so that's pretty nice uh, I'm going to try to include some uh, video footage from the camera or add some of that later in a second video to see its uh, quality so you see the app for the PC is very nice and you can control all your cameras together from a single app you don't need one app for each camera of course you need the cameras to be the same brand so otherwise they will not work together and now I'm going to quickly de demonstrate the app also for the Android so I'm going to add a new camera and you have several options here like wireless smart configuration uh, this should try to add your camera uh, when uh, you only have wireless uh, connectivity but uh, from my experience this uh, mostly fails so you should do a LAN search or add the camera manually if you add the camera manually you don't actually need to insert a lot of data because you can scan the QR code which is printed on the camera on the other side with your mobile phone and it will add all the settings so I'm going to use that option and I'm going to click on scan and I'm going to scan the code let's see and it added the code and security code I'm going to write it now and now the camera was added successfully and if I okay it needs to change the password because the default one of course is not safe and now the camera is online it takes a bit of time after you change the password because the camera will reset and if I press on that I now see Imi from the camera and it even shows you a frame per second then transfer rate and resolution and you can go to HD quality 
you can also go to smooth option you can set uh, three profiles in the camera settings in uh, the advanced setting from uh, the PC browser and from there you can set the resolution data rate and so on from the app you can uh, start video recording directly or take a snapshot and that will be recorded to your mobile phone going back to the settings let's see I have this settings here and you have a password manager image settings you can adjust some of the camera settings like brightness and things like that you have the uh, event settings you can uh, enable or disable the motion detection and the alarm for it uh, what else we have here so full time record it will always record on the micro SD card all that is happening and we'll delete the oldest files you can set up wireless from here you can format the micro SD card you have things for the setting up time reboot the device and of course frequency of your area so it does not flicker and that's about the app as you can see there's not a lot of settings like you get on uh, the PC version of the app or through the browser of the camera which is the most complete if I can say it's the complete one it's not the most complete but it's the best option to set up the camera with all those settings there so this was my quick review of the easy and uh, full HD wireless outdoor IP camera I hope that you have enjoyed this uh, video and setup guide uh, I will try to add some footage from the camera and uh, you will see that it has some uh, very good image quality for an IP camera, surveillance IP camera. Also the infrared works uh, very good. I have a full array of uh, EZN cameras installed in several places and uh, they work pretty nice. They are not the perfect IP cameras but for their price they are one of the best IP cameras that you can still buy because the cheaper ones are terrible, they have a lot of firmware bugs uh, this one are let's say one of the most stable cheap IP cameras and you get a lot of features uh, working on them comparing with other cameras that either have a lot of features that do not work or miss them completely oh until my next review and IP camera test bye bye